Horror Nights, you did it again. Just when I thought I was done with videos for this week, you pull me back in by dropping what we've all been waiting for. Yes, folks, it's official. We have our first Halloween Horror Nights 33 house announcement, and it is none other than Slaughter Cinema 2. You know it, I know it, the world knows it at this point. Slaughter Cinema 2 is coming to Halloween Horror Nights 33. This is the first thing we're really learning about this year's event. Now, this announcement is exciting for a myriad of different reasons, but first impressions is I am absolutely stoked for this house. I talked about it in January, the possibility of there being a Slaughter Cinema sequel this year, so I'm happy to say I predicted that correctly. I never got to do the original Slaughter Cinema back at HHN 28, the beloved B-movie marathon. This will be my first time doing a Slaughter Cinema house, so I'm really excited to get to venture into the Carry Drive-In to explore some new movies and some stuff that pays tribute to the past. According to the official Halloween Horror Nights social media pages, the house description reads as follows. If you're dying for a B-movie horror marathon, head to the Cary Drive-In, scream through scenes from creature features, grindhouse gore, spaghetti westerns, and more. Now, this interests me for a bunch of different reasons. Obviously, we're going back to the Carry Drive-In. We're experiencing the creature features, the gore fest that we are familiar with with the first Slaughter Cinema. We also learned about Spaghetti Westerns being incorporated into this house. They've done the Western thing before with Ghost Town, but it's been a while since we've seen that, and it's going to be a little different because Slaughter Cinema has that campy edge that is unique to that house. So I'm really excited to see how they do Westerns in that capacity. We learned there are going to be eight new films total, and we even got the title of one revealed alongside this announcement. At the Halloween Hornets behind the scenes panel at this most recent Spooky Empire, a new character was revealed alongside the house announcement itself. It's this sort of skeleton punk character with this crazy hairdo that brings to mind immediately films like Return of the Living Dead. But also it reminds me of the merch that we've been seeing, and we did see a shirt drop earlier today, not specific to Slaughter Cinema, but I'm guessing this is going to be the tie-in shirt for that house. I love this shirt, I love this design, I'm really happy that this was teasing something after all. And this character did reveal that one of the eight new films coming to Slaughter Cinema 2 will be Heavy Metal Hell in 3D. Really exciting, something we haven't really seen in a house before, at least not in quite a while. But also the 3D aspect, could this be the return of 3D to a Haunted House of Halloween Horror Nights? They didn't say the whole house would be 3D, and this may just be a title situation. Maybe this doesn't have to do with 3D, but I wouldn't be surprised if the visuals in this section do line up with those previous 3D houses. For those who don't know, I did a video with my good friend Lash TV on 3D houses. You can check that up in the cards. It's been almost 10 years since we've seen one, so I'm excited even if we see a sliver of it in Slaughter Cinema 2. So that's really all we got from the announcement itself. The confirmation that Slaughter Cinema 2 is coming, the location of the Carrie Drive-In, eight new movies including Heavy Metal Hell and 3D, as well as creature features, gore fests, and spaghetti westerns. However, even though we didn't get much specifics about this house, I think this announcement is really important for a few other reasons outside of what's, you know, in the announcement itself. Right off the bat, it's an original. Since 2019, originals haven't gotten their own house announcements. They've been saved for the dump when we get closer to the event itself. Universal really likes to market those big IPs to get people coming through the door. However, this looks like we could be seeing maybe a shift coming coming this year. Maybe they see Slaughter Cinema as a powerful enough original property to put at the forefront of the announcement season, or maybe they're starting to announce originals alongside IPs and make this announcement season a little more interesting than past years. As someone who loves originals, I definitely appreciate them putting this at the forefront, putting the originals first for once, and I can't wait to see what this means for announcement season, but also the event itself. I have a feeling we're going to get an original heavy year this year, so I think this could be the first little steps we're going in that direction. The second thing I wanted to talk about is the method by which this was announced. I did mention that this was announced at Spooky Empire, which is a horror convention here in Orlando. Now, this isn't really new in the case of Halloween Horror Nights Hollywood. Typically at Midsummer Scream, which is the big Southern California horror convention, they announce maybe a house or a scare zone or more details about houses, and that's in the middle of July, so that makes sense. It's right in the middle of announcement season. But them doing this for Florida seems really, really interesting and really strange. However, maybe this could be a trend in the future, them announcing houses in non-traditional manners. 
At this point, we're all familiar with our wait until noon for the trailer drop and then go to the five and dime and see the t-shirts kind of routine. But maybe they're gonna start to do things differently. This was announced on a Friday night at 7 p.m. Really interesting stuff. I'm very curious to see where this could lead for the announcement season, but generally I'm just hyped to see Slaughter Cinema come back. I'm excited to see what new movies we venture into. They did mention there are going to be nods to previous movies. Maybe we will see some sequels within a sequel, or maybe just some cool Easter eggs referencing the original house. I'm not sure, but let me know in the comments below. What do you think? Are you excited for Slaughter Cinema 2? What's your favorite film from the original Slaughter Cinema? Let me know in the comments below. Yes, we got tickets and the teasers, but now I feel like we're really in announcement season. Anyways, sorry, this is just a really quick video. I just wanted to put this out there, talk about Slaughter Cinema 2 because I'm super excited. But if you enjoyed this video, enjoy videos about Halloween Horror Nights of the past, present, and future, discussing house announcements and stuff that's coming for this year, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I would truly appreciate it. Well, let me know you like videos like this one and you want me to make more of them. I want to thank you all for watching this video. I will of course see you in the next one, but until then, stay spooky and take care everybody.